Hey everyone, it's Patty. It has been a while since I have posted a video. I actually have picked up the camera a few times and filmed like a few Christmas videos, but I was never able to edit them and post them, so they kind of were just sitting there. So I don't want to necessarily say it's been a while since I've picked up the camera, because I have picked up the camera. I just haven't filmed because I have not had time to film because of this little a bundle of joy. This is a Miss Molly. Molly Rose is her middle name. And she came into our lives on Halloween. She was born October 31st. And that day was a crazy day. I was 39 weeks. I don't remember if I was 39 weeks one day or 39 weeks two days. I can't quite remember, but just over 39 weeks. And, um, it was an interesting day. She was born that night and um, pretty much that morning I went in for my 39 week appointment and when I went in I had been having um, contractions all that night and I woke up and I told my husband I think tonight today is the day like I think that night I was gonna have her like Halloween night I was thinking I was gonna have her probably I was thinking more like November 1st because um, usually I've always gone into labor in the middle of the night. So I was thinking that night I would go into labor. So I woke up very crampy and I thought for sure this is the day. And, um, and so we, I went to the doctors with my three other kids and when I went in, she checked me and she said, I felt like she felt my belly and she said, I felt very crampy. And she said I was like between a four or five centimeters dilated. So um, in the past, I've shared this in a few other videos, but for those of you who don't know my background, this is my fourth baby. Um, my first, my water broke and I had 18 hours of labor. My second, my water broke and then I had six, I think six and a half hours of labor. Then my third, I had contractions kind of throughout the day. I went into the hospital and they told me I was not in active labor, um, which I was pretty, I had been having contractions all day. So I went in that night and they said I was not in active labor, um, but my blood pressure was really high. So they were running some tests. They wanted to induce me. I wanted to hold off on being induced and they kind of had me wait while they ran some tests and all of that. Then, um, while I was waiting for the test to run, I ended up go, my water broke and I had her an hour later. So that morning, um, I did not want to have a Halloween baby. I really wanted to take the kids trick or treating. Um, so that morning she said I was a four or five that if I wanted, she could send me to the hospital, my water would break and I would have her pretty fast. Um, but I have natural labors and I, I, I've always in my past have gone into labor naturally, so I, I didn't want to be induced and I wanted to take the kids trick or treating. So um, my husband was working, he works about an hour away from me. So she said, you might want to have your husband come home. And I said, no, I probably won't have her till tonight. She's like, you're not going to make it till tonight. My midwife told me that. And um, I really wanted to... Um, tried to take the kids trick-or-treating and she's my midwife was certain I was not going to make a trick-or-treating but she said if I really wanted to try then I needed to be laying down all day so I stopped of course at Hobby Lobby on my way home because my doctor's office is right there and I was having contractions in Hobby Lobby and people were looking at me like I was crazy because I was by myself with the three kids stopping and having contractions so I was a little bit crazy but I stopped at Hobby Lobby then we went home I kept laying down on the couch, but my kids are six, four, and my littlest one just turned two, but she wasn't even two at the time. And it's very hard to just lay down on the couch when you have three other kids to take care of. We homeschool, I, we had done like a homeschool Halloween day the day before, just because I knew that day with my doctor's appointment it was gonna be too much. So I just kind of had them watch TV and I tried my best to take it easy, but anytime I would stand up, my contractions would get really intense. So around 12 o'clock, I called my husband and I said, go ahead and come home just because I cannot keep taking care of the kids with my contractions being so intense. My midwife told me, do not wait for your water to break because probably if your water breaks, you will have like an hour max 
before you have this baby. So I tried taking it easy the whole day. I kept trying to get my contractions to slow down so I could take the kids trick or treating. We made it to them getting dressed, getting their costumes on, getting ready to take them trick or treating. Then Can I have a party, okay? Okay. Then um, we go to my mother in laws. We caught. We always go trick or treating in my mother in laws' neighborhood, and she goes with us. And we asked her to be on standby. And my all of my family, my parents were on standby because they were going to be the ones taking care of the kids while we were in the hospital. So they were on standby, and they also are a lot closer to me than. Um, my husband Chris was at the time so everyone's on standby my mother-in-law was on standby also because she Works right next to the hospital and the hospital is about 30 minutes from our house So if Chris was not home my parents were gonna pick up the kids and she was gonna meet me at the hospital Until Chris could make it to the hospital because he's a mail carrier So he can't just leave right away. He has to get hand off the mail and all of that So it's gonna take him a little bit, but since I ended up calling him he was home with me my mother-in-law was um, on, he said she would take the kids trick-or-treating if all of a sudden I went into labor. She would stay with them and then my parents would pick them up from my mother-in-law. So we made it trick-or-treating. We made it to one house. I have a super strong contraction. I had to go off to the side to have my contraction. Then we walked to the next house. I have a super strong contraction again. Then we walked to the next house and I have a super strong contraction again. My contractions were not stopping. They were about two to three minutes apart. Meanwhile, the hospital is about 25 minutes away from my mother-in-law's house. Um, so I told Chris, I said, we have to go. My contractions aren't stopping. Everyone that I was trick-or-treating, everyone's like, this girl needs to go to a hospital. <laughs> like, everyone's like, she's crazy. So we leave the kids with my mother-in-law. She finishes taking them trick-or-treating and my parents pick them up. We go as quickly as possible to the hospital. I called my midwife on the way and I said, I really hope my contractions do not stop. Well, I'm sitting in the car, I probably have one contraction the entire time I'm in the car. And I'm like, I will be so upset if this is a false alarm. We go to the hospital. They are, like, signing us in, asking us some questions. I had done, like, the pre-registration, but they were still asking me questions there. Um, and my midwife, they were asking me questions for about 10 minutes. My midwife gets there. We're talking, kind of laughing. And I'm telling her the trick-or-treating story and she's kind of laughing all of a sudden I have a really strong contraction my water breaks and I have her within two minutes so I'm so happy I did not wait for my contraction to break and I'm so thankful that I had a midwife because with my first daughter with my very first child I had an OB and they don't come until or at least my OB at the time did not come until I had to push um, where after her, after that first experience, I ended up changing to a midwife and I've had a midwife for my other three. And it's such a different experience because with midwives, they stay with you the entire time. Like they come as soon as you head to the hospital and they're there with you the whole time. Like even with the with my third, they said I was in an active labor, but my midwife was still there. So they will, they meet you there no matter the circumstance, they are there with you. Um, so it was really neat because my midwife was there with me and she was there to deliver the baby and it was really fast. So I was happy she was there and they could not believe it because I was literally like telling a story, talking, laughing and she was born. So the aftermath was a little bit because it was so fast and it was my fourth. It took them a really long time to get them to get me to stop bleeding, that everything was okay. I was able to have her and um, recovery was pretty fast, except for um, the bleeding. But once they got me to stop bleeding, we had no issues. Um, and then it was funny because the nurse wanted to give me an IV. And as I mentioned, all of my babies have been natural. So I don't need, I've never had the need for an IV. They usually just put the connection just in case something goes wrong. I'm ready to go, which I'm fine with that. So I told her I didn't need an IV. She was kind of a little bit argumentative with me. And then my midwife came in and told her, and I know my rights since it's my fourth and I've always researched it. So it's funny because she didn't even have time to do the connection um, for me, for the IV because it happened so fast. So it was pretty cool. Um, and it was a fun story since this is my last baby. It was a fun story for us to remember. So I'm going to show you guys her one more time. So overall, she has been a super 
here she is. Overall, she's been a pretty chill baby. Um, she does not sleep because I know that's always the first question people ask, like, is she sleeping through the night? No, and I, that is not a priority for me. My first year, I feel like babies are only babies once and they don't stay babies. So let them wake up and have the snuggles and all of that. Um, issues we had in the beginning, she was not gaining weight in the beginning. We had a really hard time with that. Um, she would fall asleep nursing all the time, so I had to start pumping full-time, which if you follow my journey, I have had to pump with my second and third. The only baby I was only able to exclusively breastfeed, like not pump, not supplement, was my first. But I have breastfed all of them for a full year. Whether it's pumping or different things, we, it's my goal it, with all of them is a year. So with her, it'll be a year. Also, she... We are primarily pumping, but she's also breastfeeding. Um, with homeschooling and having three other ones, it's very difficult to keep up with breastfeeding and pumping and feeding, and it's just a lot. So what I decided to do was um, pump full time. So I pump every two hours, and then we just breastfeed in the morning with her right when she wakes up, like first thing in the morning, then at night, and d throughout the night, and then at nap time because the other kids are sleeping, and I can still do things with my oldest while I'm breastfeeding. So that's what we do. So it's kind of like a working mom schedule, I guess. Um, but uh, I have found that's what works for us while we're homeschooling. But she definitely is the chillest baby. She's the easiest to put to sleep. She wakes up often, but I don't mind. I love the snuggles, and yes, I'm tired, but I know it's a season, and it's been really fun. I feel like she's gonna be my chillest kid because she definitely has a chill personality and it's been just really fun. So she's almost two months old. Um, I'm filming this a couple days after Christmas so she is just two months old. That in the background is my other one <laughs> trying to come in. I've had the kids try to come in while I'm, beating, while I'm filming this a few times. But I'm hoping now in the new year, it was kind of crazy because I had her. Then it was Thanksgiving. My daughter was turning two in December. She had a mini party. And then getting in the swing of homeschooling and all of that. And then Christmas, I just did not have time to edit and film or any of that. So my goal in the new year and all the baby talk, it's so cute. <laughs> if you, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but she's definitely cooing and all of that. Yeah. So my goal in the new year is definitely to dedicate more time to the channel and more time to homeschooling my kids. My mom is awesome because I love doing games and stuff for the kids, but I haven't been able to keep up with making all of the activities and stuff like that. And my mom kind of took over that and she's making all of those things for me. So hopefully that'll free up a little bit of time at night for me to edit more because that's my only chance to edit is late at night so which she wakes up so I gotta kind of get a new routine but I'm super excited to catch up with you guys more in the new year let me know if you want to see like a um, routine my goals for the new year including like routines and things like that or let me know what types of things you want to see from me in the new year I'm really excited to get back into the swing of things I feel like August and September I was filming a ton and I've really missed interacting with you guys so I'm excited to get back into that and get back into showing you guys like our life and all of that so thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to catching up more in the new year. I have some videos filmed that I hope to um, share with you guys in this upcoming year. And please let me know what content you want to see from me moving forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing my labor and delivery story and meeting Miss Molly. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.